Community leaders plan a garden on Staten Island in hopes of bringing tolerance to a borough that has experienced a wave of biased crimes. In the wake of 10 bias attacks since April, residents gathered outside a White Castle where one month ago a gay couple was beaten. Organizers from the Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual and Transgender Center ate at the fast food restaurant in a sign of solidarity before planting the garden to honor Richard and Luis Vieira who were attacked there last month. Well, I think that the attacks that happened here um, a month ago are indicative of some of the ignorance that is rampant on Staten Island. And since it was young people that were involved, we really need to help the young people understand that everybody has a right to live in their community, and maybe getting to know people will help get rid of some of the animosity that people seem to feel. What can come out of this is a very strong, positively good thing, um, although it started with something that was truly horrific and sad. No arrests have been made in the attack. A rally is also being held outside Staten Island Borough Hall later tonight. Staten Islanders hold a number of rallies to highlight and combat the recent string of bias attacks. Our Ty Milburn is in the St. George section for us tonight. Ty? Uh, Rochelle, dozens of community leaders, activists, and loved ones of Richard and Luis Vieira are expected here on the steps of Borough Hall this evening to hold a vigil to commemorate the one-month anniversary of that brutal attack inflicted upon the couple at the White Castle in Stapleton. Police have called it a hate crime, one of 10 bias attacks on Staten Island since April. Organizers say the vigil and rally will take place here at Borough Hall, and then they'll walk about 10 blocks to the White Castle. They say they want to bring attention to the wave of bias tax in this community and call for some tolerance. Now, earlier today, organizers from the Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Trans Transgender Center ate at that White Castle, and they planted what they call a healing garden outside the restaurant. They say they, they hope something good comes from all of this tragedy. Well, I think that the attacks that happened here um, a month ago are indicative of some of the ignorance that is rampant on Staten Island. And since it was young people that were involved, we really need to help the young people understand that everybody has a right to live in their community, and maybe getting to know people will help get rid of some of the animosity that people seem to feel. What can come out of this is a very strong, positively good thing, um, although it started with something that was truly horrific and sad. And Rochelle, it's worth noting about a week ago, police released surveillance video of the suspect, but they have not made any arrests just yet. Organizers of this rally say they will continue to hold rallies and vigils to keep pressure on the police to bring this suspect to justice. Reporting in St. George, Ty Milburn, New York One. Back to you, Rochelle. Ty, thank you. Vecinos en Staten Island protestan por los ataques de odio que han sucedido recientemente en el condado. Ayer se realizó una manifestación en las afueras de Borough Hall para llamar la atención sobre la violencia que ha ocurrido en la isla, donde están siendo investigados 10 ataques raciales desde abril. Después de una vigilia, el grupo marchó hacia White Castle en Stapleton, donde una pareja gay fue golpeada hace un mes. Creo que los ataques que sucedieron aquí el mes pasado son un indicativo de la ignorancia que existe en Staten Island. Y ya que estuvieron jóvenes envueltos, necesitamos ayudar a esos jóvenes a que entiendan que la gente gay tiene derecho a vivir en su comunidad. Quizá conociendo más sobre el tema puedan acabar con el rencor que parece que tienen. Hasta el momento, solo una persona ha sido acusada por ataque racial en relación con estas agresiones. Se trata de Darian Williams de 17 años, quien según los fiscales fue una de las cinco personas que golpearon al mexicano Cristian Vázquez la semana pasada.